What is up everyone? Thank you for checking out this video. So today I'm going to go over how I edit my waterfall photos. Okay, so I'm using Lightroom Creative Cloud 2015. Okay, so this is the waterfall photo I took today. Um, I was deciding between this one and this this one. I think I went with this one, yes. Okay, so let's take that into develop. And anyone that is wondering, here are my settings right here. Sixth of a second, F16, ISO 100, 21 millimeters, and I was using the 1635 F4L IS Canon lens. Okay, so let's get rid of that. That's Command I on the iMac or Mac. And let's start with my adjustment adjustments. Now, I made the picture very dark, and that's okay. You can bring up the stuff and post. Okay, so just a normal chromatic apparition and profile corrections. Okay, and now what I like to do, um, bring down the highlights just a little bit. There's not a lot of highlights other than the waterfall. And then bring up the shadows, probably to 100%, maybe a little lower. And then the whites, and you can click option on the keyboard to show you your whites. You don't want to overexpose them. And then same for the blacks. Okay, so uh, probably a little too much. There we go. Okay, so before and after is the bracket key on the keyboard. And um, I don't use a lot of filters. Actually, I don't use them at all. I used to use them a lot. I used to have the Lightroom filters, um, Visco, and also uh, Visco on my phone. I do use them if I can't find an edit I like uh, that I do myself. But other than that, I do all just these corrections and I just keep it to the natural look. Alright, so now let's take up the clarity a little bit. I love clarity. And here's a tone curve. It's great to use. Um, it really gets a lot of the stuff that you can't with these up here. And uh, I like the water a little brighter so you can see it. And of course, depending all on how you shot it, what settings you shot, these will all be different. This is just how I edit my photos, okay? So now before taking photos, I think of how I'm going to edit them and how I'm going to make them look in post. And um, for this scene, I thought it was going to be a very um, pop of green and neutral, maybe a little desaturated. But um, anyways, I love to add temperature to it. Um, I don't do a lot of cool temperatures unless it's like at the beach or something, but I do a lot of warm temperatures. Okay, so probably like there. And then I don't mess with the tint too much. I like to keep it where it normally is and then before and after, so it's definitely getting up there, maybe a little brighter. I like to keep my blacks dark, or my, yeah, my shadows and blacks dark too. Okay, so looking pretty good. So tone curve is done, and uh, color. So I got a lot of green in here, and I want to emphasize the green, so I'll go to saturation, 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 can't even say it. Okay, so obviously this will just play with the greens, and then if you want it to look like that, you can do that. But I want to bring up those greens a lot. Okay, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, so now what I want to do is Actually, I think I want to bring down my clarity so it gives it the softer look on the leaves, okay? And as you can see, it's not as crisp. And then bring up the vibrance a little bit. Maybe take down the saturation. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. And then I like to do dehaze just a little bit, but sort of bounces out clarity, but um, I like haze and uh, definitely vignette this will definitely focus on the main point which is the waterfall okay and maybe a little too dark now so it's exposure let's add a little bit more temperature okay and let's see here maybe drop down the vibrance a little bit all right, I don't think I will crop. Might crop it just a little bit, just to focus more on the waterfall. About like right there. 
and great composition. It's not directly in the middle, <clears throat> as you can see, right on the crosshairs, okay? So it's not right in the middle, but it's leading you to the right, and you got some leading rocks up there leading you to it, but the main focus is going to be the water because it's almost the brightest point in the photo, which is totally fine for me. And yeah, that is basically all I would do. Let's bring mouse in there. I like it a lot more colorful. There we go. That's why I like. So a little more vibrance and a little more saturation. And it'll give you that pop of color. And yeah, that is basically how I edit my photos. I'll keep it a little darker just like so. And there's before, there's after, and we can do a comparison right here. So there you go. So very simple. This is what I'll post on my Instagram. I won't do any other filters or presets, whatever. But um, yeah, that's basically all I do. I keep the sharpening right there. And noise reduction, that's fine, nothing. And vignette, dehaze, and lights out by L on the keyboard. So there you go. That is how I edit my waterfall photos. Um, let me know what you guys think below. Also, give me some ideas for new videos. I have a list of videos I want to do, but if you guys have any ideas, please leave them below. I love to hear them. And if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below any questions you have about anything, and I will answer back to you. And please subscribe. Almost at 100 subscribers. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video.